Okay, so this is Ubuntu 20.04. Uh, this is actually the beta version, and I'm not sure if it's been properly updated now. Uh, the official release is on the 23rd of April. Uh, I've installed 10 different distros, uh, and uh, just to try them all out, and in a previous video, I showed all the operating systems just briefly so you can get an idea of which one you would want to install. Uh, although, to be fair, this with all 10 on, I haven't really had any problems. It's been running really smoothly and been running really fast. So let's log in. So I downloaded this Damaso uh, Nostalgia Trip image, which is an excellent image. It's got loads of ROMs on it. Um, but if you wanted to try those ROMs on a different system, I put my SD card into my Mac and also into a Windows computer, and they didn't recognize the ROMs that were on there. And there's about I think it's about 8,000 ROMs on this uh, image. And it is really, really good, as you can see, as you flick through, you can see all the different ROMs on there. So if you wanted to take a few off and put them into RetroArch or Batacera or some other image, maybe the Supreme Pro version of RetroPie, if you wanted to try something to see if something has been improved, uh, how would you do that? So first of all, I'm gonna pop in my 128 stick, which is the Damaso image. So usually on other systems, on Windows and Mac, all you see is this boot file. But on Ubuntu, you've got this root fs file. So we double click on that, and you can see that everything's here. So if I go to Home and Pi and RetroPi, you can see that in the ROMs folder, there are loads and loads of folders which would contain the games. If I double click on, say, PSP, you can see that all the ones are there are just there as a file that you can have. So if I want to copy it to the desktop, I can do that by just uh, copy and pasting it onto the desktop. But I want to put it onto my RetroPie USB stick, which I use with certain different images. So I plugged in my USB stick, you can see it's there, 32 gig. Uh, if I right click on this and open in new tab. So what we've got now on the right hand side, we've got my USB stick. And on the left hand tab, we've got the Damaso 128 gig image with all the images in. So let's pick something small, 164.9. So let's copy that and go to my RetroPie mount, go to ROMs, go to PSP and right click and paste it in there. And as you can see, it's just ordinary file management, nothing fancy, no programs you have to install. Uh, it is very, very straightforward. So. If I go back to this one, which is the 128 stick on the left hand side, and go back again, you'll see that some of these are have got padlocks on them. So GameCube, for instance. Now, there's no ROMs in there, uh, and there isn't on the Damaso build, but because I've had GameCube images on a USB stick in RetroPie, it's showing up uh, and, it, and it's showing they're inaccessible because obviously it, it knows there was a ROM there. But this is just the ones that are physically on the stick that it's gonna show, we is the same. But actually none of the ROMs uh, are, are unavailable. You can basically just get straight to them. So if I go to ordinary PlayStation, for instance, you'll see that there are loads and loads of ROMs on there. And in this case, I'm pretty sure you've got to copy both over. Uh, now, if I pick something, so say I pick Spider-Man, let's uh, control and left click, and then copy. Let's go to my 32 gig stick, and I want to put that into the PlayStation folder. PSX, right click, and paste. So you can see it copies pretty quick as well. So 439 megabytes here, yeah, it's only gonna take about 20 seconds or so. So while that's copying, I can keep looking, I can go through and I can see what else I wanna transfer over. But uh, I was just really surprised at how easy it was in Ubuntu. You can also find, uh, if I just minimize that for now and minimize that, show applications and type disk you can see this Disks app that comes on here. So this 128 is the stick that I've got the Damaso build on. So you can see free space, boot partition, free space, and then this is the 128. So these are all the ROMs. Uh, and you can get there another way. You can click on this and it will open up the same way as it did before. But uh, yeah, I just thought it was a really simple way of, uh, of being able to access 
ROMs that are actually in pre-built RetroPie builds, and it probably works for other builds as well. And now you can see that Spider-Man's in there. This is my USB stick, and also in PSP, we can see that the Pac-Man game is there. So let's try those games out on Lacquer. Okay, so I'm all booted up. Uh, let's go to scan directory. 32 gig stick, RetroPie mount. I'm just going to do the actual folders that I've updated. So in this case, PSP and PlayStation 1. So PSP, scan this directory. And that's finished. And also we do PlayStation 1, scan this directory. And there it's picked up Spider-Man. So now if we go back to the main screen to see if our ROMs have appeared, and uh, we'll test the Pac-Man one. So Pac-Man run, PSP run. There you go, and you can see that it works. Okay, so the PlayStation files haven't shown up, and I've just done a search, and PBP files aren't recognized by Lacquer or RetroArch. So I'll try it on RetroPie. Okay, so I've switched over to the Supreme Pro build of RetroPie because PBP files aren't supported on Lacquer or RetroArch, uh, or certainly the version I've got. So if I now go into PlayStation, well, let's go into PlayStation Portable first. So you can see the Pac-Man file in there, there you go. Uh, and then if we go into PlayStation, you can see that it's recognized all the files that I've added, because I've added Toker, Tekken 3, Spider-Man, uh, I think those are the ones that I've recently added. So if I click on Spider-Man. Welcome, true believer. Hey, Spider. Hey, Black Cat, what's going on? And as you can see, it's working fine. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Spider sense tingling. Something's going on here.